Yeah, this is an apartment in New York City. It's just a good idea to make sure you've got good shoes and are willing to use a handrail. Midtown West, right here, this is 8th Avenue. And today we're gonna compare a whole bunch of different apartments in this neighborhood. Some of them might be awesome, some of them might be terrible, but no matter what, this area's got great subway transit, restaurants, and we're in the theater district. Don't worry about this, it's under construction. The first apartment's up here on 51st, then we got something on 50th, and then we got something on 10th Avenue, one block over. And just look at this, it's an absolute scene. There's restaurants everywhere. Brazilian kitchen, bowls, dogs, double chicken teriyaki bowl, sign me up. Also, there was dollar pizza, but it became dollar 50 pizza. I guess that's better than making the slices thinner unless they do that too. Barber shop, get yourself that fresh fade like David Beckham over here. Or you can upgrade, this is a barber shop and shoe repair and watch repair. They'll fix your whole life in one place. Now this might sound like an apology for how small and expensive these apartments are about to be, but you gotta take into account just how much there is to do right outside your door. We're surrounded by pretty much everything. We're in a busy part of town that again is very convenient. These places are geared towards somebody who wants to move in and just experience everything New York has to offer absolutely immediately with no commute other than walking a few steps from your front door. Almost there. Uh, six flights. Oh, man. Climbing a mountain. <laughs> Jacket already fell off. Alex, what is the price of this thing? This is going for $65.95. You have a four bed, two bath with a private roof deck. Dude. This roof is crazy. Is this all private for this little apartment? This is all private for that specific unit, yes. So divided by four, the rent is $16.50 per person and you get a roof deck. And I feel like the potential here is insane. You could have tents, you could have like a gazebo, you could have two satellite dishes. Do these give off radiation if you get too close? This is the street view. Not loud at all. The loudest thing is actually that helicopter up there. These skylights go into our direct unit and we have some sort of hatch. Open. Well, if I can't get it open, no one can get out. This is actually the building fire escape. Oh, <laughs> okay, that goes to the hallway, not our apartment. Yeah. We've also got these crazy looking pipes. They're not making any noise now, uh, but I'm assuming they do something, judging from their construction and the fact that there's three of them, four of them actually. And look at that, over there, you can see the Empire State Building in Midtown. Do you think this is gonna be hard to maintain? Honestly, no, just because there's not really much you have to clean up. There's no trees, so there's no leaves that are gonna fall. It's gonna stay like this for its entirety. It might get dusty. There's no trash, there's no street debris. There's nothing, not even like a stick. Although there is some old caulking, but that's probably from an old repair. That's probably right here, you don't want leaks. Also, the staircase to get up here, it's not that difficult to navigate. So if you wanna have a grill, if you wanna have some food up here on the roof, it's doable. But now that we're back inside this apartment, it's gonna become pretty apparent why the rent is $16.50 each. Not that that's a bad thing, but these are what some of those sacrifices look like. The water pressure is solid, and I mean, technically my hands both fit. You can also store something down here. Wow, maybe some dental floss. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad that it's there. How else are you gonna cram two baths in here? And look at that, the shower's perfectly reasonable. That's normal. It's pretty spacious. Do you brush your teeth in the shower? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's a good thing. So if that's just for hands, everything else in here works. Look at that, nice medicine storage, mirrors everywhere. And look, you can open up on your phone. There's plenty of room to swipe away at your TikToks. Where's the other bathroom? Right over here. Oh, okay. 
Six more doable. This one is like what I would consider to be a traditional bath. That tub is legit, man. You could totally bathe. I, look, I'm 100%. My legs are out. This is great. Submerged. This is better than my tub at home. Looking good. Keep playing. Look at that, man. They each have outlets. They each have uh, trays. This one has a little bit more storage underneath the sink. Hand towel holder, shower towel holder, roll holder. Also, these bathrooms, you can't close them. They've got pocket doors, so no one will see that you're in the tub. Best of all, look at that. Okay, this is a brand new washer dryer. Look at that. Unless they left this stuff in there, look, there's no lint in the lint tray. You see the first one. These open in opposite directions, but I don't think it matters. Ultimately, it does not. The fridge is supposed to open away in? from the appliances, yeah. And look, you could relocate this right to here. Swap it. The rest of the kitchen, definitely a compact design, but it's got everything. Can you reach those cabinets? With a hop. Oh. With, with a hop? Yeah. Look at that. Kitchen pressure's good, sink sprayer. And we have an outlet on this little shelf. So that could have like a coffee maker, then over here you could have the air fryer. What's crazy is we didn't even turn on the lights in here. Look, they do absolutely nothing. You don't even need lights, you can just save money. So this living room, 16 by eight, with all the angles, it looks a little confusing, but I have a plan. Let's hear it. Since that's the kitchen, put your kitchen table here. And because the rooms are here, where Alex is, this has to be the den area, so your couch is going in this corner. If it's an L-shaped couch and Alex is where the TV is, you can sit over here. Or you can mount a TV above where the table goes. You can point out that little wood sticking out and it's kind of cool. Oh, in here, that's what you're thinking. Yeah. I didn't even see that, good point. And then all the seating just shove in that corner. You're gonna need a big screen though, that's far. This here be your heater. There's a cord. Oh, okay, there's actually a plug behind it, so it is plugged in. I don't know why this was up there. The thing that I actually like about this apartment a lot is the fact that all the bedrooms are equal within light, space, lighting. So this way, if you're sharing, everyone can actually pay 16 and change and you don't have to kind of split a difference. 12 by eight, that's the dimensions of these front rooms. And this is actually a northward view. And the only real difference between these and the back rooms is the lighting characteristics. These don't get direct light, so they feel a little bit darker, but these are not bad by any means. Queen size bed, easy. Nice closet space. I don't know how you're getting up there. It's like 10 feet. These rooms also have traditional heaters. That one's actually on right now, but a little hot to the touch, but I don't think it'll burn anything. I love the frosted glass here because light's able to pass through even though you have skylights here anyways. Ah. Now these back rooms, these are my favorite. They're facing south, so the lighting just feels better. There's also a more interesting view because we face the back of the building. The rooms themselves are about a foot foot and a half shorter than the others, but the width is the same, so you can still fit a queen bed. Come with me, I gotta show you something. Weren't we here? We were. I think that apartment also might be available. That one over there. Yeah, not 100% sure, but we'll find out. So you don't know if this is someone who's here? Yeah, we'll find out. Oops, no. Oh no. <laughs> Hello? Well, they definitely know we're here. We're good. This is literally the exact same apartment. Yeah. Same price? Same price, just very minor differences. For example, one big skylight instead of two. So over by the staircase, we actually have a window for additional lighting, but the closet's a little bit smaller over here. Oh, I don't think the other one even had a closet over here. Also, you got this. Whoa. It's like a sideways window, that's what this is. Kind of makes this one room a little more interesting. Granite. Does the bathroom have the baby sink? Uh, I didn't check. No. Yeah, shower looks bigger, and it's got the tint. Yeah. Is this roommate proof or no? No, I still see you. It's not roommate proof. Yeah. No. Maybe next time. Thank you. Oh, you did? Yeah, now that I remember it, I rented this two years ago. What so. was the rent two years ago when you rented it? I forget the exact amount. What's it now? $31.95. 
I feel like this should cost more. It's so sunny and so quiet. And look, we got real ivy. This thing ain't from Ikea. It's not that Ikea ivy do they sell it. They probably do. How New York is that? It does cover the whole side of the building. And this little balcony is definitely a feature that I would love to have. My apartment in Brooklyn has a balcony. It's about this big and about this useful, but it's nice. What I like about this, however, is just how peaceful it is. We're not facing the street. We're just looking at these backyards and these trees. Do you hear the birds? I hear them. Something about this antiquated surviving part of New York is just so cool and so charming. Luckily, the door also swings in. If this were to swing out, you might not be able to get a table and chairs, but there's definitely room for a little seat or something and an air conditioner above the door. We got tons of light poured in through this bedroom window. And this is 11 by 12, so very generous. And this bedroom is as functional as it is big. On the other side of both of the French doors, there are two closets. And the way they hide behind the doors is really cool. It saves space. Older apartments just have the best story. Usually you get one of these in an apartment for this price. Some white curtains on these doors would also look really neat. And I know that other apartment had these frosted over. I am so glad these are crystal clear that you can just kind of see straight through. It has an aura of elegance to it that most places don't, but there's only one spot for a bed right here. Nothing wrong with that. If it were here, you would block the door to the outside. This living room is also just about perfect. When I measured it, I got 11 feet, five inches by 11 feet, two inches. And that's from the edge of the door all the way to the edge of the kitchen. So plenty of room for a couch, for a big TV. And you've got this really quirky looking fireplace. It's not turning on, but I'm assuming that it works. It's advertised as having this. And if you were the landlord, would you really want brokers and just customers flipping switches like that? I like it. I'm sure it warms up the whole room. But we do have a heater in here. There's room for a window AC. And you'll probably get heat from the bedroom heater. It's pretty big, just kind of flowing through here. TV mounted on the wall. Or you could put it above this guy. I would put a big couch over here. And I would just put a stool right here and use this as my dinner table. If one or two people live here, this is definitely enough to eat a bowl of fruity pebbles. And there's room for stools on either side. But if you want a kitchen table, you could probably stick one over here, no problem. The living room lights are also on a dimmer. Look at that. As far as New York rental kitchens go, this is good. These, they might be concrete. I think that's what they are. It's not plastic. Dishwasher, oven, which it's new. I don't want to ruin it for whoever moves in, but there's all the stuff. And this fridge, this, it's made by a company called Samsung. It's also brand new. You got all the paperwork to prove it. There's a setting for the freezer, a setting for the fridge, a little uh, tray for your eggs. This is like one of the nicest apartment fridges you could ask for. Look at this, we got like three separate ways to freeze things. Like frozen pizza, oh, those are so good for you. If you wanna complain about something, I guess you could complain about the cabinets. Although I think people kind of overestimate how many cabinets they actually need. Trash can can go under here. Oh, wow, it's super clean under there. And under the island, we have this quirky little sideways drawer. I guess that's your pantry. Silverware, yes, I put those those paper towels in there, they were on the counter. Speaking of which, there's an outlet so you could have a coffee maker. And then on this windowsill, look, there's another outlet so you could have a coffee grinder or some little plants. Plus there's plenty of room right here if you wanna cut stuff up before you ruin it on the stove. And while we're over here, it's worth mentioning that the apartment does have a coat closet. Kinda of narrow, but this is perfect for whatever you need before you leave for the day. And yes, you can tell this used to be a hallway. That's why it kinda of winds, but this is a great design. It saves a lot of space. The place is relatively affordable. This is a really good bathroom. There's lots of room. It's not cramped. There's a big sink. There's a medicine cabinet. And there's even hooks for towels on the door. Fun fact, also behind the door, this will heat up a little bit in the wintertime. It'll warm your towel before you put it on. Lighting in here is basic, but very good. So many landlords could just do that and have a great looking bath. Also, you can tell this tile's refinished. I don't think that's a bad thing. It looks super clean. There's no mold. It's well cared for. And at the end of the day, why waste money redoing something that you're just gonna rent to somebody else when it already looks like this? Who doesn't want a white bathroom? It's fine. And it comes with free paper towels. Dude, these are awesome. Guys, check out Alex on Instagram right here. If you need an apartment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Always a pleasure.